Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. <laughs> Dave Erasmus, hello, welcome. Good morning, sir. Thank you for having me on your beautiful bicycle. How are you today, Dave? <laughs> I'm a lot better now. Yeah. I was a bit groggy when you first turned up to the cabin and I was still uh, st still in bed, but now I'm feeling fantastic. Yeah. What a lovely day, mate. It's beautiful, beautiful, isn't it? I, I did check the weather uh, this morning and uh, it was rain either side of today. Really? So, uh, yeah, and it was just today was sunny, which I thought was quite nice. You've got the golden touch. I know, I know. I fear I may have led you down a dead end. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, we'll just wiggle round. Yeah, yeah. it'll be fine. We're, 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 we're in somebody's house, Dave. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're, oh. Good morning, people. <laughs> okay, let's just do a UE. Can you do a UE on here? Oh my God, really? Okay. I'm with you. This should be, you I'm with going you. with it. You're let's going take with that it. space. Oh, this could work. Go on, do it. Oh mate, this is golden. It's going round. Absolute around. delightful. It's going we've, got it, we've got it, we've got it. Oh, look at that. Oh, that is. Been that on is... the bike for seven minutes. <laughs> already got U turns. Hey mate, first time ever on a tandem bike. I'm loving it. <laughs> loving it. Although I know that you're going to take the brunt of any crash out. <laughs> That's very true. That is very true. So, Dave, you're back in the UK. After talking about the weather, how does it compare? Great question. I mean, we. You know, I come back a couple of months a year now. This is my hometown, Leatherhead in Surrey. It's where I grew up. My high school, as you saw, is literally just behind my house. I haven't gone very far, but that's what I love about it. You know, like you can do all the good work in the world, um, or try to at least. And if you don't have sort of a community, a family, friendships, then it's kind of you get to ask the question, what's the point? And also, you get a bit too ambitious. You know, the whole identity then revolves around what you make in the world and. I can throw you out of whack as well. Um, so I like coming back a couple months a year and doing no work, no thinking, no doing, just literally, well, this is an unusual part of my <laughs> month, but apart from this, I'm literally just seeing friends and family and talking and being a human being rather than trying to make stuff all the time. I think there is that massive pressure, isn't there, in, in the world to, to kind of, to, to achieve, I guess, or be successful, whatever that is, but well, to do stuff. Yeah, especially in the, you know, spaces like YouTube where, it's all about quantity. It's all about, you know, they don't have to show the numbers of views and the numbers of subscribers, <laughs> yeah. but they choose to put them up front and center in the middle of the platform. So it makes it about that, really. So it's tempting to get hooked into that narrative, but it's uh, completely pointless, really. You know, the main thing is to be a family, friends, and, and uh, make the stuff you believe in along the way. <laughs> One of my friends is down here on the left. <laughs> They'll be like, what the <laughs> heck is Dave doing? <laughs> <laughs> there is a pressure to get on with your self-awareness, with your professional world and, and your family life. Yeah. And I've never seen somebody in their 20s, I've just turned 30 last week or two weeks ago on the fifth. Happy birthday. Thank you sir. Um, old codger now. <laughs> but obviously it makes you reflect a lot and I've never seen anyone in their 20s get all three of those things. Self-awareness, um, you know, professional and family life all developed in the same decade really. And uh, I think what starting out in business when I was 19 and getting my first, um, you know, uh, exit when I was 21, it just gave me space and time because I sort of knew, had some cash, enough that I could build that cabin in my garden that you woke me up in this morning. Sorry. Uh, ooh, debt free. Um, means that I've got space and time and also socially I'm not getting like, hounded by people for like, what are you doing with your life, mate? Uh. Yeah. So that gave me a few years. I'm beginning to get some of those questions now. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of interesting being on the back of it, I have to say. Is it? Yeah. Do you just feel kind of like the power? Um, no, I feel just not in control. Okay. And, but it feels quite safe and sturdy. Nice. You know? Maybe if you're a sketchy driver, then I'd be sure with me. I definitely value that time more than anything. Well, it's, it's the only true currency. Um, yeah. All the other forms of currency are just um, traded versions of time. You know, money is only a representation of someone's time plus skill. Um, so, ultimately, <laughs> I mean, I, uh, damn, I can't think of the quote right now, but it's, I think it's um, Dalai Lama says something like, you know, man spends all of his time trying to get money so that one day he might have time. 
and then dies before he ever gets the chance to see it. You know, it's just like, you know, spending time with loved ones and on the things you love is, 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 is there anything else? Good morning, fellas. <laughs> see you soon. Happy Christmas. <laughs> They're my mechanics. <laughs> They're like, what the hell is he doing? What is he doing on that bike? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> they parked a new car in our turnaround space. Let me try and wiggle this car, that's crazy. Oh my gosh, you are Straight an absolute round. boss. Straight round. They uh, begin thinking, what on earth, we're going to get robbed by the guys in the tunnel. We're going to get robbed. <laughs> Wouldn't this guys, be a good cover? Lock down the, <laughs> lock, lock the windows. No getaway guy, just a tandem. <laughs> what does the rest of your time in the UK look like, Dave? Well, I came back a few weeks ago for my mum's birthday. I was speaking in Berlin, so... I was like, if I'm coming back from San Francisco to Berlin, I can't not come back. And so I came back to surprise my mum for her birthday in mid-late November. And then I'm here through Christmas and New Year, just trying to be with family and friends. And then on the 3rd of January, I start traveling again. I'm gonna go to Iceland. Wow. To Reykjavik. Well, I've, I've heard lots of bits of information about Iceland and no one really knows much about it. Sure, so okay. I want to sort of go and just see what it's like. Nice. Um, you know, this year I went to Costa Rica and Cuba, two very fascinating countries um, that you have to experience, really. And then in April, Louis and I are going to be flying around the world um, as part of the Solvi project this year. It was a competition we ran where we basically threw out a request to anybody in the world anywhere that had an ambitious idea to change the world, that they should sort of make a video application and let us know, and then we'd pick it one that we could really get behind and um, we ended up with this team in Australia called One Way. But we found that most of the applications were from the US and the UK. <laughs> I went back and analysed the process and realised that it wasn't because I was biased to the US UK, it was that the funnel started with mainly US and UK people watching the video right. because yeah. of the where the audience is on mine and Louis' channels. So we figured one way to try and mitigate that would be to travel around to different countries making different people aware of what's going on and try and rustle up some interest in other places in the world that probably need the help more than the flipping UK and yeah. US do. Well, yeah, yeah. So, um, so yeah, so that's quite exciting. Um, and we'll start in April and we're going east from London and then finish off actually in Iceland uh, oh, wow. on the 29th. Being invited to be a part of an event with the President and Prime Minister there, which will be a good laugh. Out of the that's scary right. as hell. Mate, this is next level stuff. <laughs> oh my gosh. You're a pro, Dave. <laughs> Just keep, keep speaking your soothing words to me. Inside my Christmas jumper here, I've got a pound shop product. I'm passing it back to you, which might be a bit dangerous considering you're blindfolded. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah. So have you got it? Yeah, I feel like I'm about to die. Okay. Um, I feel like, okay, oh no, it feels like the biggest corkscrew in the world for the biggest wine bottle in the world. Just a little clue, it's not for a wine bottle. Okay, okay. So it screws and you have a handle on the top. So what would you want to do with that? You would, you would put it into the ground All maybe. Right, okay. And then have a strap coming off it, I don't know. Uh, Oh, this is odd. Uh, this is not what I was expecting. I thought you were going to give me a tea cozy or something. <laughs> okay, I'm just swapping to my left hand, which is my, my detail hand. Uh, <laughs> I may, I haven't got a clue. I haven't okay. got a Scooby Doo. All right. What on earth is this? Well, okay, if you want to take off uh, the scarf and have a little look. Oh, right, we're not even in the park anymore. No. <laughs> Well, no, it is sort of, it does look like what I thought it looked it, like. It's exactly what you thought it was. It's called a screw post. Oh, for your dog. For a dog. How cool is that? I don't have a dog. That's why I didn't understand. Oh, no. So, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, so I was right. You, yeah. you, you screw it in the ground and, and, and pin something down. But I was thinking more like tents or something like a, you know, tent or a bungee cord or something. The compliment to megaphone. Hello, hello, hello. Bloody, that was really loud. <laughs> Mate, I've never used one of these before either. Flipping heck, it's so loud. It's on 10. <laughs> Good morning. I like your hat. <laughs> Good morning, people. 
cool. This is this is hard hard work, mate. <laughs> <laughs> tough crowd, tough crowd. <laughs> this, guy, this guy, this guy might beat me up if I do it. Good yeah. morning, Andy Bowley. Hello. Happy Christmas. Have a good one. Oh, she liked it. Nice. She liked it. Nice. It's very hard to tell how loud this is. I mean, it's quite loud. Two foot away from it. <laughs> yes. Good morning. Thank you for delivering the post. Hey! <laughs> the mechanics loved it. The postman, postman hated it. Mechanics loved it. Happy Christmas, mate. Have a good one. Hello, hello, hello. It's pretty loud, isn't it? Good tidings we bring to you and your kids. We wish you a merry Christmas and a happy New Year. 